All right, today we are going to try six different methods of using chalk pastels. A little bit about chalk pastels is that they are a powdered pigment in binder. So they kind of feel like chalk, they're a little bit messy. So we try to only use like one at a time. And since they are messy, I also make sure to organize my chalk pastels in a way that I have cool colors and warm colors and then like whites and neutrals. So we're gonna try to keep them separated just because that way when they mix together a little bit, they're kind of all the same colors. So they also were used by a lot of really, really famous artists. And it's because they require like no dry time. You, as soon as you put them on, you're good to go. And they also can remain workable. That means that you can keep changing and fixing it until you spray it with a special fixative. It kind of looks like hairspray. You spray it and then it's set. So we're going to try these six techniques. The first rule is that we only use one at a time. And the first one is blending. Blending is my favorite. So please put your name on your paper and then let's try to do these techniques. So blending, it usually is nicest to use colors that are close together on the color wheel. So I'm using yellow and orange because they blend easily because they're close together. If you use colors that are far apart, they're harder to blend. So to blend, you just need to color a little bit of one color on one side. A little bit of another color on the other side. And then with your finger, I all start from lightest to darkest because it usually goes easiest that way. And you can blend it. And you see all that nice, look at that, so pretty. The best thing too, I said layering, you can layer another layer on there. If your yellow gets a little too orange, you can always do another layer, okay? So that's our first technique, that's blending. Second technique, cross hatching so this means that we're going to go in a like a t shape or an x shape pattern to make texture so i just made some diagonal lines that way and different sizes different shapes horizontal lines this way that's cross hatching okay the flat edge means that you're not gonna use the tip, you're gonna to try to use the flat edge. So you can go ahead and just take your pastel down. You might have some thick spots and that's your flat edge. Now hatching is very similar to cross hatching except for you're only going in one direction. You're not going in different directions. You're going one direction and continuing that. We see this a lot in post-impressionism and like Van Gogh stuff, it's pretty cool. So little lines in one direction. That's hatching. And I'm gonna let you keep your paper with you when we do our next part of the project so that way you understand. All right, layering. Same as blending, layering is really good if you use colors that are close together on the color wheel. You can always look at the rainbow wall. But here's some layering. So I'm gonna use some dark green and light green. So I'm just gonna put some color down and on top of it, right on top, I'm gonna put another color. And then you can blend them together. But that's layering. You're just going right on top of each other. Okay? Super easy. And the last one is the one that makes all the noise and is usually everybody's favorite. They're stippling. Now you don't smash your chalk pastel. You're just going to do little tiny dots close to your paper. See, I'm not going bah, no big little tiny dots close to your paper. And that's called stippling. Stippling is little dots. And you can make them far apart or if you want it to look really dark, you make them close together. So these are all different ways to add texture and interest to your chalk pastels. I want you to try all six before we go to the project.